Today is finally the day where we set up our brand new saltwater mini pond. In my last video, if you guys haven't seen, I built the whole pond from scratch with all this wood, with the liner, with the glass and everything start to finish. It was super easy. It was like a giant puzzle piece. The hardest part was screwing in all of the screws, but at the end of the day, this thing looks fantastic. It fits perfectly where it's supposed to be in this little crevice right here, and it looks great. I was looking at it all night. I'm like, I cannot wait to set this thing up. So welcome to part two of setting up the brand new saltwater pond in the fish warehouse. So you guys know I love setting up ponds, especially new ponds, and looking at this thing, this is just so nice. I cannot wait to have some cool stuff in here. We can do baby sharks, baby predators, community fish, we can do everything, super rare fish, anything you guys want. Once again, this week, I'm gathering as many comments as possible of what you guys wanna see in this pond, so drop them down below, and I'm gonna go through them, and then we'll decide. So we have a couple different steps about what we're gonna do today. We gotta add sand, we gotta add water, we gotta do our rock structure, which is the best part, make it look very beautiful, put the water in and then we're gonna add lighting to really see how this thing is gonna look compared to the one outside. The one outside has the natural sunlight but it also has some glare coming through the window so it's pros and cons to it being outside but this one is just gonna have the artificial lighting coming from the top and it's gonna make it glow like a glow stick baby. So let's jump right into it and get into step number one. Let's add some sand. So we got three different kinds of sand here. This is actually leftover sand from the outside pond that I'm just gonna use because the good thing about this pond is the bottom of the pond is not, doesn't have the, as much surface area as the one out back. The one out back, I had to use a lot of sand. So hopefully this will cover it. Let's just see how far it gets us with just this half a bucket here of sand from the outside pond. So let's see. Actually, it's pretty big. So I don't know how much sand we're gonna need, but oh, that's a pretty good, Brooke. That did pretty good. I will take that all day long. So that was half a bucket of sand that it already has half of the pond filled. I haven't even spread it out yet. So let's spread this out and I wanna use the new sand for like the top layer because that's much more white and looks pretty, you know? Gotta make your pond look good. And now we have our carob sea sand. This one is like the kind of sand that has all the good nutrients in it. The good, uh, you know, what's it we got here? We got some calcium, we got some magnesium, we got sertonium, we got barium, potassium, carbonate buffer. We got all the good stuff. So this is like the startup sand as you would like to call it. So this is the alive sand with, you know, the liquid in here. And it's just always good to add this kind of sand when you're first starting an aquarium because it's just good because it has uh, some bacteria in there to already jumpstart that pond because you want this thing up and running as quickly as possible, obviously. Imagine I cut the pond right here by accident. Pots and pans are drowning from air. Can you drown from air? Fish drown from air. Suffocating from, from lack of oxygen. I should spread this out first, right? So let's see how far this gets us first before we do anything. Good amount, dude. I'm gonna spread it like this. Oh my God, we can just use that. But anyways, I'm still gonna use the other sand because it's got that good beneficial bacteria in there, baby. Look at that. No sand left behind. Dude, are you kidding? That's fantastic. Let's get our next bag in though. It doesn't hurt to add more sand. The more sand, the merrier, baby. That's what they say, I think. I think that's the motto. So this is the good stuff sand. This is the sand that's got the good bacteria. It's already a little soggy, wet. It's a good, good, good idea, Brooke. I cut a very dumb hole, very dumb hole. That's back-to-back -back dumb, dumb things I've done in the videos. Last video, I put left the screws out in the hot sun. Oh, the freaking hot! I've never felt a hotter screw. Oh my god! I just burnt myself. Oh my god! That burns. Who's the idiot that left the screw at, screws out in the sun? That's me. And I burnt the hell out of my hand today. Didn't make the hole big enough for the sand. What are you gonna do? You live and you learn. That looks so similar. Beautiful, beautiful. So I really did not need to get the, oh, this has the good stuff too. Calcium, magnesium, good stuff. I got like three different brands just to see which one was the best. This one just looks the widest and it's such a small bag. I don't think it's gonna do anything. We don't even need this bag because we already have plenty of sand in the pond already. So let's just throw it in for good measure, for good luck. This could be lucky sand. Oh, this is the sand I wanted to get right here. Look at how white that is. That's the sand you want. Look at that white sand. I might have to go back to the store and get another bag of this at a later date, but check it out. We got some white sand in there. I guess we're just gonna wait until the water comes in because uh, I'm gonna need to get more of that white sand. Look at the difference between the white sand and then the gray sand. Big time difference. I like that much better. So we're definitely gonna have to add some more at a later point. So now that our sand's in there, let's start with our rock structure, build this thing up. Try to make it a little bit different than the other one outside. Let's try to make it as cool as possible. All right, we got a couple cool pieces of rock here. A couple good ones. Like this is one of my favorite pieces, the archway thing. Super cool, love that piece. Now I don't know exactly what we wanna do with this because if I do get little baby sharks and stuff, I'm gonna want some areas for them to be swimming around at. So let's just get all the rocks in there. And these are like the top pieces. This is like, we'll go on top. So we don't have a lot of rock 
actually. So how could we make this cool, Brooke? I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is terrible. Woohoo, check out my rock structure. Epic. No, I'm kidding. We gotta really dial this in because that looks terrible. Can you help me, please? I suck at this. Because I don't have enough rock and they're all different colors. All right, guys, we're stealing from the wealthy here. We're taxing the rich. Sorry, taking some of this rock because we're gonna need a lot more than just two pieces of white rock. I'd rather just ideally do all white rock and a couple of the purple ones. So we're just gonna take a couple of these rocks because there's so many. Look at this eel. He wants to attack me. And then maybe two more. Because I don't know how much rock we're gonna be putting in the new upgraded pond because look what it does to the bottom of the pond. Like look at all that like just silt. It doesn't look good to me at all. So obviously we're gonna add some, some rock, but we want it to look as good as possible. There we go. Let's give that a try. Now here's what we've got going on right now. I'm just gonna throw this together for now. For now this will work fine, but I just don't like how we have white, purple, and pink rock in there. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about having three different color rock. I think it's an absolute no-go. I think I'm just gonna go with some white rock, but we're gonna have to rescape it very soon. So once we get the new pond in, I know for a fact we're gonna have some a lot of extra rock, and maybe I'll take some of those and use that for the mini pond here, or I'll go just go get some more of the white rock myself and add some in here. But right now, for today, Today, we're gonna use this right here. So we have a cave on the left with that little archway and then a cave on the right with a pink rock. But I have OCD, major OCD about, uh, you know, things looking neat and, and color coordinated, etc. We are not color coordinated right now, but it will do. Now what I could do is get some coral on this flat rock and actually keep some of this flat rock. If I, if I get rid of the purple ones, I'll do white and pink. I can get some big anemones and corals as long as I have really good lighting, which I, I'm going to get. But we can have some big corals all along this piece. If we if we want to do that route, if we want to do community fish, and then maybe we can turn the outside one into baby predators and bring all those, all those guys into here. You guys comment down below your best idea, but in here, it'll probably be much easier to have better lighting because we don't have to deal with the rain and we'll have some really good lights on here. And then outside in the back, we can have some little baby predators, sharks, etc., that don't really need that super strong light. So now that we got our rock structure in here, we're getting our ideas going. Let's move on to the best part. This might be the best part, but the best part, next best part, adding water. All right, now we're filling it up here with our beautiful salt water and thing is is this gonna be very milky to start because I did not rinse this sand I just kept all that you know good stuff in there you're not supposed to rin rinse the salt water sand because you want to keep all those nutrients in the sand so I didn't rinse any of it and we're just gonna slowly fill this thing up and then once we get the light on here I have a feeling we're gonna be in love this pond is gonna be really amazing once we start adding fish maybe sharks maybe predators maybe some corals I, I don't know I can't zero in on anything just yet because I'm so excited but when it's filled up and we get the light on it's gonna look good I'm so excited to see it through the glass window. The big glass window right here, because it's just fantastic. Let's get this guy feeling. All right, guys, we're halfway there. How do you think it looks right now? I think it looks pretty murky, but once it's clear and we get that light on, it's gonna look amazing. Cannot wait, but the water is at least filling, so A plus for uh, adding water to the aquarium. I'm very excited. The pond is officially filled up. It's about 200 gallons of water, and it is very cloudy. So we can't even really see what it's gonna look like just yet. But once this thing clears up, I'm gonna give it about 24 hours. Once it clears up, we can throw the light on it to see how good it looks. So I'll see you guys when this thing is fully clear. But right now, it's a bucket of water and I love it. I'll see you in 24 hours. All right, not exactly 24 hours later, but probably around 12 hours later. It's right in the morning the next day and we're gonna check on our pond and we're gonna add the lighting to see how it looks. Now I gotta give a quick shout out to one of our members, Gina Crispell. She is officially an over one month member. So she got that new little icon next to her name. It's a green fish instead of a blue fish. We got the members moving up in the world. I appreciate your love, Gina. I appreciate your support and all my members. Thank you for being the backbone of the Fish Guy Chris community. I appreciate you. Now let's throw the lights onto here. I have a couple ideas for lights. I have this top light, which is obviously gonna shine into the pond. I might get a better light than this. And we also have these underwater lights right here, which we did show you guys in the big pond. And we're definitely gonna use them for our new upgraded pond, but it might look pretty good in here with this underwater light. So let's throw some lights on here, see how much it cleared up. I'm also getting my filter right now to set up. So obviously it's gonna be much more clear once I put the filter on because it was not here yesterday. 
yesterday. Let's light this thing up and see how it looked. Now, as you guys can see, it still is pretty cloudy, but that's just, but that is expected. It hasn't even been a full 24 hours, and I have to get my filter on there right now today, so it'll be so clear by the time you guys see this pond next. It'll be absolutely beautiful, but even though it's not clear yet, it looks amazing. I cannot wait to start adding fish. This is going to be our little saltwater ecosystem in the garage here. It's going to be so cool to finally put fish in this new pond because you can actually see them through the glass and the lighting is gonna make a huge, huge difference. So I'm definitely gonna add at least one more light or I'm gonna just upgrade the whole light system in itself and just get some Mac Daddy big boy lights. But the underwater lights do look pretty cool. I don't think I'm gonna keep them in here, but they do look cool if I were to get maybe smaller ones and have them in the front to shine through the whole pond. That would be kind of cool. But just a thought, just wanna throw it in there for an idea for you guys. But the pond looks great so far and the next time you guys see it, it's going to look even better. It's going to look much more clear, crystal clear water, and hopefully we can start adding fish very soon to this mini pond because I am excited. Now, obviously, you guys know I do film ahead of time in advance, so I film so I film videos this week to post next week, and last night, the Panthers just won game two in Toronto, so hopefully this time next week, and you guys are seeing this video, we'll still be alive and well in the playoffs, so go Panthers. Go Miami Heat. Even if you guys aren't from Florida and are not fans of the South Florida sports teams, I'm still showing my love to my crew, you know? Gotta show some love to my team just like I did in my last video. I'm gonna keep rooting and cheering them on. Shout out to all my uh, my fans out there, my South Florida fans. Now I cannot wait to add fish to this pond and this pond is actually gonna be coming, I, I literally am 90% sure it's gonna show up on my door this week and I'm super nervous about it because it's gonna be big and you guys probably saw Jack's video when he got his pond and the guy couldn't even really help him move it off the truck. And Jack is away right now actually in Ohio. So I really hope the new pond arrives when Jack is here because if not, I'm gonna have to be lifting a 500 pound pond off of a guy's truck by myself, which is not gonna, it's not possible. Obviously I cannot lift 500 pounds, but I'm definitely nervous. I'm definitely nervous. And setting this thing up is gonna be a huge task. We gotta get the big boys out, the big groupers, get them out of the pond, take everything out of this pond, break this whole thing down, and then add our new one in, fill it up, add the fish back. It's gonna be a huge, huge process, and we're gonna document every step of the way, and I cannot wait to share more. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're excited about our brand new mini pond there. I cannot wait to start adding fish. It's gonna look fantastic, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.